I can't really tell you when I learned how to pray or that I had one person that really kind of guided me through <laughs> prayers. But I can tell you, I remember praying grandmother, man, and I am so grateful. I can't really say when I first heard her pray, but I know that it was a consistent part of her life, so much so that when we were little, I would go visit. And when I stayed overnight, she had this really rigid routine at 12 noon. She would take her Bible and she would read scripture and then she would go to her bedroom, kneel by her bed and call on the Lord. I remember hearing her praying for her family and friends and her church and just the body of Christ all over the land and country. And I'm so grateful for those memories because it's it's times in my life that I know I can't solve anything. I can't change anything or that I just need a greater sense of God's presence that I pray. What about you? You know, I found in scripture the model through Jesus in the most excruciatingly painful season in the in the most trying time Jesus decided to pray I mean the lesson is really clear first of all he had a prayer life that didn't start in the garden of Gethsemane it, it didn't start with that prayer he prayed for his disciples right after he gave them the commandment to love one another that's why we call it Monday, Thursday, out of the command to love. No, it wasn't then that he started praying. He's prayed all throughout his ministry. And scripture tells us that he often withdrew to lonely, solitary places to pray. I have memories of my grandmother. I have memories of so many people in my life and it's shaped me. And the most important thing I can hold on to is that if Jesus had to pray, how much more do I need to pray? I, I'm, you know, yeah. Few folks laugh or make fun of me and I don't mind. I laugh with them. The fact that I'm always praying somewhere. Okay, fine. But at the same time, I remember how Jesus, on the very night that he would be betrayed, along with washing the disciples' feet, he prayed I mean, he prayed a long prayer. Look at it in John 17. And then he he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane and he prayed while he was even on the cross. I'm absolutely convinced there is no way for us to get through life and all of the agony we face and all of the depression and the sorrow and the grief and and all of the ways that we just have to embrace suffering. We can't do it without prayer. It's, it's more than just unloading and dumping on God the things we want or need. It actually draws from God the strength we need. That's why we pray. It's, it's, it's also about centering our souls in the will of God. Yes, that's why we pray. Just like Jesus, who was bargaining with God about the cross. Do you remember? He literally says, if there's any other way this can happen, remove this cup from me. But Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. 